Ben, final game of the season over now against Barrow, 2 0 defeat. Uh, what's your assessment of the game? I thought it was a game at two halves. As to be fair, I thought we were really poor first half. Nothing but we were about. Uh, energy, not getting on the ball, desire. Uh, good credit to Barrow, they, they came in and they done a job on us. We were 2 0 down. Second half, I thought we were a lot better. But the same old, you know, we, we couldn't score. We got good opportunities. I think we had three or four great chances where we should score and make a game of it. Um, but the lads, like I said, the first half was not acceptable. It's not reflection on myself and it's not reflection on them lads. But second half, I thought they were a lot better. Um, and unfortunately, we, we couldn't get that goal. Do you feel you could have got something from the game or deserved something from the game based on the second half? I think the second half performance, yes, but the first half performance, absolutely not. Um, we were 2 0 down, really all over the place, which is not like us. Um, to be fair, there was a few choice words at half time. The lads responded really well. We changed system. And I think it worked for us, and I think we had three or three or four good chances where it's been the story of the season. Really, we're not ruthless enough when it comes to it in the box. You see, the lad Rooney scored two chances, two half a yard, and he and he scored. Um, that's the difference. That little bit of quality, but I, I can't um, fault the players overall. It's, it's been a, a really good season. Were there any standout positives from from the game, particularly in the second? Half? I just think the whole performance, second half, as bad as the first half was, I thought the second half was excellent. So. I can't really complain too much. Um, it is what it is. Uh, who won the league? Orient. Oh, Leighton Orient. So just on on a on the club, we just want to congratulate Leighton Orient uh, on a club behalf because I think they're the best side. They deserve to win to to go where they are. So all the best to them. And uh, ninth place for yourselves. It's, it's no poor achievement by any means. No, it's a, it's a good achievement. Uh, a little bit lower down than we probably want to do. That's how well the lads have done, and that's how well they've done throughout the season. It's been a lot of twists and turns. Um, it's been really difficult. I, I must admit, I'm, I'm glad for a little break now. I think as the players are now, we need to get away and reflect. But they, they have been uh, brilliant, all of them. And um, you said, asked you this on Thursday, but are there any standout moments for you since you've been manager for better or worse? I think the whole, the collectiveness of the whole thing, the togetherness of the team, um, the wins, even the defeats, learning. I'm always learning, learning new things. But the, the biggest thing is the changing room, working with people like that. Um, Mike and Busted, I've got to mention them. They've been different class for me, and uh, I wouldn't uh, want to do it with anyone else. Um, the players have been a dream to work with. I've said I've, I've had a, I was part of a special group that got to Wembley, and this this group's right up there with that group. That's how highly I, I rate this team, and you now I've loved the whole thing. You said um, you tackle being manager how you wanted to tackle it. Is there been anything you've learned about yourself while being in this role or anything you didn't expect? The, um, no dames the same. I, I knew that. Um, I, not really. I knew how about, I wanted to go about the way I wanted to go about it. Uh, I wanted it to, to be a positive environment to, to get that togetherness with the fans and I think that showed. I wanted effort and commitment and I think that showed in the performances. Yes, we have not won a lot of games of late. But overall, I will reflect later on it, and I've been pleased with the job that I've done. Back to the game, uh, sending off for Tom White, that a big disappointment given how Tom's been brilliant all season, really. Yeah, I'm, the lads will probably say I've got a little bit. Of, I've, I've known Tom a long time, and, and he's worked so hard to get this at this level, and he deserves all the plaudits. I just think it was right for him to, to finish the game off. Um, the referee said he, he, he said something to him, but there was eight minutes left. I think he could have just used his head a little bit more. But Tom's had a magnificent season, um, like the rest of them have. Uh, they've learned a lot, uh, not just through the good the, the good things and the bad things. And regardless of what happens, um, I'll always be here for these players. And um, what sort of your hopes and your expectations? Well, more, more hopes for the next few months or so. Really, just to get the club sorted. Um, it's going to be difficult. I, it's, I think it's going to be still lots of twists and turns. I, I know I haven't spoke to the owners for a while. I'll probably speak to them. Monday or something and just try to get the, the football club sorted because it, it's really not in a good way at the minute and a proud moment for yourself must have been leaving leaving the pitch and the fans uh, singing your name singing the players name and standing ovation really. yeah the, the, the supporters of a different class to me they always have been um, really emotional day I'm, I'm doing well to keep it together here uh, but the, it really means a lot to me I had my family here today um, who knows that might be the last time I'm on the pitch and, and if it is I've uh, fully enjoyed representing the football club. I've loved the football club. Uh, I've got a great rapport with the supporters um, and it's been a it's been a great experience. Emotional day and possibly an emotional night with the awards evening. Yeah I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we're gonna have a few drinks, uh, we're gonna have a bit, you know, enjoy the night. 
it'll be interesting to see who wins because there's been a lot of good performances this year. So I'm really looking forward to spend the, the day with the evening with the fans and the players and uh, just enjoy it. And after the season you've had, if anyone deserves a drink, it's you and the players, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I've not drunk since Christmas, so I think one drink, I'll, I'll maybe a bit silly, but no, I'm really going to look forward to it. I'll probably do, will get a little bit emotional later on, not going to make me time to go home, but uh, no, I'm really going to enjoy it, enjoy the supporters, enjoy the crap with the lads, and I must just mention Steve and Mickey as well. They, they've been different class for me. I spoke to Steve this week. Uh, it became a little bit of a mentor, so it was really good to speak to Steve, and I think together, as a myself, Mickey, uh, Mike, Steve and Busted, we've done it the best we could. And um, Any karaoke tonight? Not from me. Busted said he would. <laughs> yeah, Cheers, Dom. Thank Thanks you very much. Yeah.